Hey there, this is the video response to uh, TJ's Classic Avoidance video. And what I've done is I've brought up the AFI Top 100 Films. I haven't actually been perusing it yet. I'm going to look at it right here, and I'll just mention the ones that I uh, guess that I haven't seen. Uh, first off, i got to say I watched E3 today, and uh, Sony won so badly that it seems like Xbox really isn't trying anymore. Uh, well, of course they are. They're just, uh, I don't know, uh, all great if, like, you're an Xbox fan. It's fantastic. But, uh, man, that was brutal. Just, for me, that was just brutal. There was, uh, no innovation, no, like, games that really stood out in the, uh, Microsoft one. I almost fell asleep twice. Actually, I did fall asleep. Had to, uh, re go back and watch the end of it. And, uh, some pretty cool stuff. I uh, like some of the announcements. But anyway, let's get into this video. Uh, so, what do we got here? Top 100 films. Right off, I'm seeing one thing. I watch way, way too many movies. Uh, yeah, I've seen that. Uh, top 20. Oh, good there. Creeps? No, it's just a Creeps Wrath. Sergeant Bull. Straight up Bonnie Clive, of course. Huh. I've seen the movie, but I didn't like it. And I'm going to say right now, a lot, of, and it's one of the top films of all time, and this is a movie a lot of people love. Uh, but uh, it took me a long time to get through it. I uh, I really found it, uh, found it boring and uh, overdone. And that's just my opinion. I actually love the documentary about the movie. I just hate the, hate the movie. And it's Apocalypse Now. It's classic. Don't like it. Uh, but I guess that one I've seen. Uh, I don't think I've, I haven't seen Birth of a Nation. Uh, I saw like clips from it, but I actually haven't sat down and actually watched Birth of a Nation. So that's one that I haven't seen. Not because I'm not interested, just because I don't think I've really had the uh, chance to like to watch it. And uh, I would like to see it someday. I've got a, like a, a lot of different movies that I actually like. So uh, I've seen Amadeus, uh, Philadelphia Story, Fraternity, Fantasia I Love. What in the bloody hell is this? Okay. Tonight, my computer is uh, going on camera. What does that mean? That means that uh, getting a black freaking screen when I tr every once in a while it's just internet anywho the best years of our lives uh, if I've seen it it's one I don't remember right now it sounds familiar uh birth of nation I haven't seen though that's one I for sure haven't seen okay and uh there's one that's gonna come up cause I know it's on the top 100 list yeah, I'm almost embarrassed to say they haven't seen the movie because it's more of a modern type, type film on the list. But I really, I haven't seen it, and I don't mind the actor. I just never got around to watching the movie. And that's uh, Dances with Wolves. That's a you know modern day classic. Have I seen it? Uh, nope. Well, I wonder. It's not on my. It's not kind of like not on my list of movies that I uh, need to see. I just got a message there that TJ shared with me uh, Leprechaun Origins official trailer. I'm a really big fan of the original Leprechaun film, especially parts 1, 2, and 3. So if this is the uh, WWE one and it looks really horrible, I may have to go to the next WrestleMania just to kick uh, Vince McMahon's ass for uh, bucking up a franchise. Back to my list. Uh... Okay, uh, I haven't seen The Jazz Singer. I really want to see The Jazz Singer, but I haven't seen The Jazz Singer. And you know what? I haven't even seen the remake of The Jazz Singer, the one with uh, Neil Diamond. I haven't seen that one either. I really should. I know I really should, but I just haven't. Uh, Searchers, I, I really liked. Uh, Bring a Baby was cool. Unforgiven, I love. Uh, I guess Come to Dinner is a favorite. A Yankee Doodle Dandy is one of my all-time faves. I'm surprised it's on the list, though, because that's not... 
something that I thought would be on there. Because uh, I don't see people giving much, uh, you know, very rarely do I say, yeah, I love that Yankee Doodle Daniel movie from My Name's Cagney. But most people think like of the, uh, the other films. There's, uh, there's other type. But yeah, that's the uh, list of America's 100, and I've missed three. I don't think I've seen three. So uh, I have a problem. I have a movie watching problem, apparently. Uh, there's a lot of movies, that great movies that are out there that I haven't seen. For instance, The Lord of the Rings trilogy. I haven't seen it. Saw like parts of it, bits of it. It didn't interest me that much, but I'm going to be forced to watch it. But my better half was a huge J.R. Tolkien uh, fanatic. Her and uh, Christopher Lee, same thing. They have the same amount of love for this stuff, for that series. So, uh, yeah, I haven't watched all The Hobbit. I, we were watching The Hobbit, the first one. I fell asleep. And uh, she's going to make me watch those, so... Okay. But uh, th as far as things that I that I still have yet to see, there's like a lot. A lot of movies I've got yet to see. There's a lot of movies in my collection I've got yet to see. But as for classics, I gravitate towards classic cinema a lot. So uh, a lot of the movies on here are just movies that I watched growing up several times. I mean, I cannot tell you how many times I sat through Frankenstein. Uh, Bride is better, but Frankenstein. Uh, or uh, even in the modern, more modern ones, how many times I watched The Unforgiven, which I really, really do love. Uh, which is surprising. I've seen Dances with Wolves, but it's a Costner thing, right? So, uh, yeah. Platoon I liked. Fargo I thought was incredible. Uh, Vertigo... Really? I've got to do my top list of uh, Alfred Hitchcock movies, and Vertigo is a favorite of my better house. And it's, I will not doubt the proficiency in Vertigo, but I, uh, I would contest its uh, placement on that list. And those are my thoughts. Those are my thoughts. Ah, yes, one more thing before I forget. When I was doing the uh, listing of Walt Disney Treasures, I was worried because one of mine didn't have the uh, Certificate of Authenticity. But apparently the, some of the early stuff didn't do that. They stamped the things. So I uh, had to go read up on that. Which was like, uh, I'm really like uber careful with those. Especially the Disney ones. You spend a bit of money on those. So you want to make sure that you get the right stuff. And uh, yeah, it was really good to get the right stuff. Just some incredible, incredible stuff. See, that's the kind of classics I like. Uh, Raiders I love. Amadeus actually was a really big fan of the film. Uh, Clockwork Orange is great. You know, it's good, but not great. You know, and, uh, no, maybe it is great. Uh, maybe it's just me. Uh, Dr. Zhivago is, is, is a classic, but it's not a rewatch one for me. Not a really rewatch one. And I'll be honest with you. You want to talk about one of the most overhyped directors of all time? This was probably going to piss off a few people to watch. Right? But, you know, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. And by far and large, this is not a popular opinion. So I'm not saying it's correct or right. I'm just saying it's my opinion. So we'll come close. Woody Allen. Yeah. He's, uh, he's good, but uh, he's really not that good. I mean, good movies, characters at times that are, in my humble opinion, interchangeable from film to film. Yeah, I said it. I uh, love some of his early, his early stuff. Some of that is fantastic. But uh, some of his later stuff? No. And even some of his early stuff. Come on, Woody Allen's Woody Allen in every freaking movie he's in. There's no depth of character or growth in that there. And unfortunately, because of that, he surrounds himself a lot of times with characters that are uh, complement him and his character, which pretty much ends up being a lot of the same characters over and over again. So it's... Yeah. Ah, there. I'm going to get some hate for that one, probably, but please don't. It's just my opinion. I'm... Uh, 
not a big fan. I loved his books. I read them when I was younger. Uh, when he was a, he wrote a lot, wrote a lot of books early on. Uh, not a lot, but the ones that I read, really, really good novels. Uh, but I'm just not a fan of the uh, of a lot of his movies. I mean, I can watch them. I'll watch them when they're on TV or something like that. But I don't see them as classics, and uh, I don't think many of them belong on this on this list. Uh, anyhow, I don't know, maybe. But uh, I'm not. So I'm not here to contest the validity of this list. I am here to talk about the ones I missed. And apparently it was three or four. So there you go, TJ. That's my response, uh, which is probably going to rain hatred from Woody Allen fans upon me. But I'm sorry. That's just my personal opinion. Love some of his films. Just think they're very, very repetitive. But hey, I like Friday the 13th. But then again, nobody's proclaiming Friday the 13th as a uh, masterpiece. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, for me right now, it is time to duck the uh, throws from the uh, Uber Woody Allen fans out there. And uh, honestly, it's time for tea.